what advice you folks have for those who want to get started with AI on the mainframe? Okay, so we do have we have a GitHub 101 page which really outlines a, you know a lot of the really highly optimized technologies we've been right working on from a Z perspective. And that includes libraries like TensorFlow and, and our Onyx deep learning compiler, um, as well as some IBM research libraries. And all of these are very highly optimized for the platform and are, are great, great technologies to get your hands on. So we do have a, a 101 page that really highlights right, all of those, all of the different starting points here. And that's a that's just a great place to start in general um, because it will have not only the libraries, but links to examples and, and assets like the solution templates. I think that's, that's a good place to get some background information. If you're really interested in leveraging AI and exploring a, a, you know, a business problem like fraud detection for, you know, for, let's say for credit card authorizations, right. Or fraud detection for insurance claims, right. A real business use case. We also do have re, you know, resources like the workshops that are, I was mentioning that can really help you get a jump start on those. And you know, basically, the easiest way to get started with that is to reach out to me um, you know, through my email address, which we'll make available. Um, but that's something that's available at no charge, right? So there's, there's really a gamut of help available based on w where you are in the journey and, and what entry point you're, you're looking to get into. Yeah, and I just want to reiterate as well that, you know, um, as far as getting started, um, Andrew mentioned GitHub and, and those various resources that are available. And, you know, we spoke about the open source domain, right? So these technologies look very, very similar, right? within the mainframe, right? So if you are, let's say, a student learning TensorFlow or Scikit-Learn or just in the industry working um, within different spaces or, 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 you know, outside of the mainframe, those skills can be applied here, right? So um, those skills are still valuable. When we point you to these resources, right, what you're getting an added benefit, right, with these technologies on Z because they're being highly optimized. All right. And so uh, they they're very performant. And so the skills that you have as far as getting started and using those data scientist skills, they very much are applicable and can be used. Right. It's just that underlying hardware that's accelerated, which is not really visible to you. Um, right. When you perform your inferencing, that kind of expedites that that process. Right. So you you can leverage some of those general open source resources. Right just to, you know, so you have that foundational uh, AI knowledge.